Hello and welcome. I'm sorry for not putting out a video recently. You see, I made the mistake of playing um, a bit of Civilization V and... <clears throat> yeah... There's also Civilization VI coming out soon, but I'm a complete scrub at any of the Civilization games, so I don't think uh, it would be appropriate for me to really make videos of it or even play it on stream. But regardless of that, uh, this is a match of World of Warships where I'm in the tier 8 German battleship, the Bismarck. It's a match on the map Estuary and I believe the highest tier is tier 8 that I am. So there shouldn't be no tier 9 shenanigans going around. So, I, so it's a standard battle and I headed towards the eastern side. The main thing with standard battle is that you probably should be a lot more defensive uh, than in domination mode. Because in well, domination mode it's important to get the cap zones, in standard battle it's more important to focus on uh, having as many units engaging as few enemy units at a time as possible so that you can, you know, win the fight easily. Also, I, I was a bit annoyed by uh, the fact that all my shells on that Cleveland missed. I guess she started moving forwards or I simply misaimed. Anyways, my next shot is on the hipper, so that should be good enough since she is showing broadside. By the way, one of the reasons why um, there was actually a lack of uh, video for quite a few days is because... Um, okay, uh, I forgot about that one. Goodbye, hipper. One of the reasons is that I actually made a video of this before, but um, due to a few audio settings that apparently were broken, the crackling was so crazy that um, it just wasn't feasible, but that wasn't the crackling I usually talk about. That was something else, that was caused by the audio settings. I had a stream recently where I suddenly said that, oh, my audio settings reset for some reason. And I redid them quickly at that point, but apparently I messed it up and uh, caused some problems to appear and uh, the recording of this um, match was with those settings and it didn't seem usable really. So I had to redo it, but uh, because I uh, played a bit of Civilization in between, that didn't work out very well. Anyways, um, there's, a there's two Tirpitzes actually coming. And they're showing broadside, but unfortunately I just took 15,000 damage. I only did 20, 8,500 in return and uh, wow, I just got very lucky. That should have been another massive hit, but the enemy Tirpitz completely straddled me. Completely. By the way, now one of the reasons why you might actually see many straddles is because you aren't aiming quite right. You see, you have to aim fairly close to where the ship is going to be. As in, you can't deviate too high or too low from where the ship is. Like if you aim too much below the waterline, the game doesn't let you aim properly. You see, when you aim, the game has some kind of um, aiming additions or helps or aimbots or whatever you want to call them. Essentially, they help your shells reach the place you want them to be, and they seemingly do so through dispersion, but I'm not 100% certain of that. So what happens is that if you aim in a way where it wouldn't hit the ship properly, the dispersion goes higher. That seems like a bad thing, but if you think about it, if you were going to miss anyway, having worse dispersion is actually better because it makes it more likely that a few of your shells will still hit the target. Anyways, um, my secondaries were opening up on the Bayern for a moment, but it seems that I'll be falling back more or less. I have lost way too much HP for this stage of the game. I get a shot on the Cleveland here, but actually no, I didn't get the shot on the Cleveland after all. Only one shell went over that uh, island. It did hit though, but it was an overpen, so that didn't really give me anything. I really want to make... I really want to move my ship in a way so that uh, so many enemies can't really shoot at me. I'm running the secondary spec so my secondary sh <clears throat> should be able to deal with uh, many dangerous enemies. But not necessarily always. They have 10.6 km range so I really want to get in range of them. And I'm gonna stop here and just shell that Aoba. 
because if she gets one kilometer closer, more or less anyway, the secondary should start opening up and that's... well it doesn't really deal all that much damage but it, it looks incredibly scary and makes people panic. Although to be fair it does actually do quite a bit but like it doesn't murder you like um, a main battery salvo would. So secondary should be opening up now. Uh, they, like the main way that secondaries deal damage is fires though. Although on a cruiser actually it might be different because they aren't as armored so the secondaries might just deal a lot of damage all by themselves. Okay that's one fire and now we need another one after she damicons. Okay she damicons so if we get another fire that should do it. And I really don't like this rock but my back guns did go through. And I got another fire, so this one should stick to the Alba. And it seems a Faragut is actually coming around the corner. I'm gonna use Hydra in a moment to spot her. And then swap targets to the Faragut. There's also a second destroyer potentially coming from behind me, but um, right now she is also behind an island. I used Hydra, so I'm spotting the Faragut. Although, I guess I used it a bit too soon. I should have waited a bit longer to catch them off guard a little more, but it's okay. I start moving so that uh, once the Faragut comes around the corner and torpedoes me, she will have an incredibly hard time hitting those torpedoes on me because I'll be moving and, uh, you know, it's really difficult to hit a battleship that's moving away from you. With torpedoes, that is. <clears throat> so the Faragut's coming around the corner, so I'm gonna open my main batteries in a moment. And then the secondary should rip her apart. A good 4600 damage, that's 4 overpens, quite, quite a lot. And the secondaries here should finish the Faragut off, I, I can't see, like, unless somebody else takes the kill. And goodbye Faragut. So now I guess I'm gonna turn away, although I, I believe that I actually misplayed it a little bit. I might take one of these torpedoes here. I'd like to take a shot on the hipper, but I don't think I have much of Yeah, I'm, I, I'm fairly certain I'm gonna take one of the torpedoes. That's a bit of a misplay. Should have done it a bit better, but it's okay, I guess. I have Damacon available in 10 seconds, and there shouldn't be... Like, it's very unlikely the hipper should set me on fire. Because she probably doesn't want to really man-fight me, since... Um, she's... She probably would have a worse time than I would. I asked my team to fall back because uh, they apparently are pushing in into our cap zone like the two battleships uh, and the potential destroyer. So it would be nice if uh, our team came back but it seems only one ship was turning around so. But I guess one ship is still better than me being alone. Obviously I'm not really going to you know give the enemy team my entire cap zone but uh, I'm just gonna move away, because they do have a destroyer, it's potentially scary since I don't have Hydra up, and if I stay at the back of the uh, cap zone, I will know once the, you know, DD comes inside the cap zone, so that means I shouldn't be um, torpedoed without me at least having, you know, some warning or idea that it's coming. Because right now we don't know where the destroyer is and, you know, if, if there wasn't this cap zone, I would be afraid of even trying to turn around because there could just be a destroyer on my ass. Although, considering the fact that I was just unspotted, it seems unlikely. Okay, so, the North Hell is creeping around the island there, but... Um, I think that even if I got a nice shot off and like all my shells went in, I think it would all be over pens since I can only see the tip of her nose. The friendly Tirpitz is uh, tanking the damage and uh, I guess we'll be shooting the enemy cruisers until then. Because the North Cal was behind the island, I, was, I wasn't afraid of turning around. Otherwise I might have been because that could easily make me take a... Uh, 15 to 16 thousand damage salvo which is probably half my HP right now. So now it's time to try to finish off this Aoba that's coming in. Gonna heal and gonna start moving in again. It depends on how long I'll... Oh my god, that looked like a really good salvo, like the dispersion was just perfect. But uh, 
The Alba had turned away, so it didn't quite work out how I imagined it would. Again, we don't know where the destroyer is, so I might just use Hydro soon. By the way, the Alba isn't going full speed, which is why I'm not leaning as much as I normally would for a cruiser. But yeah, because I don't know where the um, cru destroyer is, I am potentially running into him. And that, that is the optimal position you want to be as a destroyer, since I really want to go for the North Cal. I'm not, I'm not even heading directly towards where the destroyer potentially is. And as a result, I think I'm gonna use Hydro soon. Because that torpedo, a torpedo salvo could literally ruin the game here. So I used Hydro. If I had waited 3 or 4 seconds longer, I would have known that I was unspotted, so... That would have been completely fine, and I would have even spotted the DD. So I wouldn't have used Hydro then, I would have waited at least a little bit, but it's okay I guess, because I know where the destroyer is. It means she didn't quite um, get me, get to fake out my uh, Hydro, so it's still useful. I'm heading towards the North Cal, Mahan and uh, Pipper I believe. Secondaries are all opening up on the Mahan, I will also use all my main guns on the Mahan. Because I have Hydro up, I know that she you know, when she torpedoes, it's not going to be very dangerous, and that's a 4600 damage on the Mahan. I don't, th I don't think the North Cal really wants to fire at me, since I am, well, a German battleship. She can't really citadel me. And my plan here is to go in guns blazing or secondaries blazing, and uh, I guess I'll just ram the North Cal since she has so much HP and shoot all the other ships. Although I might take a salvo on the North Cal to try to damage her main gun so I don't die as easily. Because right now, well, it seems that I'm at 4 kilometers from the North Cal and having and have 36,000 HP, I might very well not make it to the battleship uh, with, with uh, any HP left. It's certainly possible, considering there's a battleship towards the western side of the map. It's a Colorado. I'm gonna take a shot at the um, North Cal's main guns. Unfortunately, it didn't break them. The secondaries did take out the uh, Mahan, though. That is good. And now my main guns are turned towards the right side, so I'm gonna take a shot on the Hipper. Secondaries are opening up on the Colorado. Actually, I, sh I should probably have switched secondaries onto the Hipper right about now. Because those would have been... Uh, that damage would have been more useful, because Colorados are rather HE resistant. Salvo on the Hipper did uh, almost 8,000 damage, and as you can see, I'm at 11,000 HP. I, 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 I'm I, just gonna ram the North Cal now. I mean, she has 52,000 HP, I have 11,000. 11, the trade is definitely worth it. The question is, though, do I wait until my main guns are, you know, reloaded and fire at the Hipper? But the answer is no, because I didn't want to take the risk, although it would have been a good idea. Like, in hindsight, I think that risk would have been worth it. Not because it would have uh, helped the game, but because uh, I would have got a Kraken potentially. Right now I was certain I wouldn't, because I wouldn't kill the Hipper. The Colorado did burn for a bit, but that was it. I, I, I feel like this ram was definitely worth it, and uh, because of that, uh, I feel like we should win the game pretty handily. Considering we have six ships left, they have one, and a Colorado at that, so if my team manages to somehow botch this, I, I would, like, I, I don't know. I can't even imagine how frustrated I would feel about it, but I already know that's not gonna happen because I've already played the game. So th these guys are just gonna finish the Colorado off here. Anyways, I'll jump towards the end now. So the game ends here. Goodbye, Colorado, and, um... We win! We win, we win, we win. No draws here. Draws were eliminating, eliminated a long time ago, and, um... I got two close quarters experts. A confederate, a devastating strike, a high caliber. 172,000 damage, only two citadels, though. And that was the devastating strike towards the start of the game. I got 2,344 base experience, number 2 in the game was 1,407. That's 
more than 50% more than number 2 in the entire match in experience. But if you look at the damage, you actually didn't deal all that much damage if you take out the ramming. I mean, it's a decent result, but it's not 172,000 decent. Secondaries did a good uh, 35,000 damage con with the fires, and the ramming did 52,000. So anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and again, sorry for not putting out a video recently. And, um, well, I would like to thank the patrons on Patreon now, they definitely helped the channel. And uh, we had a new one called uh, Kablamo. Three A's for some reason, but anyways, I hope I see you guys next time.